for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Now the moon card, it's, it's a very interesting card in the tarot. It could have something to do with deception, holding back, um, being or feeling psychic and intuitive. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and, and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that it's possible that all is really not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. That's what I'm trying to say. Go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone coming up in July, it will probably take longer than you would like for it to, so you're going to have to try to stay patient. So, that's the moon card, and it's paired with this two of wands. Two of wands is about trying to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It also indicates a partnership with another person. Now, this could be business or it could be personal. But it reminds us to stay. Um, to, it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if things are feeling out of balance for you, they're about to get substantially better. So you have to keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So basically, I'm picking. I'm picking up with this two of wands here that you might have two options towards a future two options two paths with the future so it's kind of like trying to decide should you take this path or take that path two decisions you need to make um, that's kind of like what the two of wands is is about um, or you could be deciding to make a future with someone because you see how he's more focused towards one wand than he is the other he's more focused on the wand with the bird in his hand and that's the way he's, he's chosen to sit facing the bird and that the wand to the left side of your screen but you may not be trusting this situation because we got the moon card here so you might hold back. Yeah, you, you, it looks like you might just hold back. With this loan card showing up, you may not feel like, you may feel like something's hidden from you. Yeah, so you might just stay, you might just stay put right where you are, right where you're sitting and just keep looking at that bird <laughs> because you feel like, uh, something is hidden so we'll get more clarity once we take a look at the rest of the reading and see what's going on with that because it's pretty vague I know so let's move on over for now and take a look at how your person sees you now they see you like the devil in the page of swords now the devil with this card you have to keep in mind no matter what your situation that you always have options to choose from first things first don't let other people tell you that your options are limited if you come to that conclusion be sure you come to it on your own it's going to be crucial that you can um, to know that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so you could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life and sometimes this happens as a result of your own actions but more often it's a byproduct of inaction so take action whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling however slight of being in, in control even making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner small baby steps they're important too So you see 
Well, they see you as having some type of devil energy. Uh, it could be that you have some addictions or you could have just some immature or just some crazy behavior that they don't appreciate. Or maybe you invite a lot of trolls into the connection. We all have trolls that we know like unwanted family members, <laughs> friends that always want to make trouble for the relationship. So maybe they just, maybe if you don't have addictions, then maybe you have, like I said, some, some unhealthy people that you, you um, tend to bring into this connection. And um, that's kind of like, yeah, that's how they see you. Well, one of the ways they see you. Now, they also see you like the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it represents a younger person. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, that's youth, that's immaturity. It, it also indicates that um, somebody's, they want to reach out. Or they see you wanting to reach out since this is how they see you. They see that you've got something to say. The page of swords is about a message coming in. In this case, because it's a page and because he's got a sword in his hand, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. This is pretty much saying that um, they think that you might try too hard or push too fast. Or it sometimes feel like you're stepping on, the, on their toes. So you might have to study the body language of others and consider how well you accept construct, constructive criticism. Yeah, this page of swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. So they see you like the page of swords. They could be thinking you're uh, immature, you bring conflict to this connection, and they're expecting to hear from you. Or they, they know you want to, they know you got something to say. And it's probably not what they want to hear. <laughs> With the page of swords <laughs> yeah they don't look forward to hearing from what you got to say but they see you wanting to reach out or you you could just know that you want to reach out and you know that they don't want to hear it but uh, they also see you as like I said with this bringing some negative energy yeah with this devil card I think I uh, forgot to mention now, uh, the devil card is also about, I said it was about addictions, but a lot of people are kind of confused when you hear the word addictions. Addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, alcoholism, drugs, yeah, or just unhealthy energy. They see you bringing some unhealthy energy into this connection and they think... They, they see you as being um, immature about it. Yeah. Now the Page of Swords is also known as a, as a stalker. So they might think you watch them a lot too. I have to throw that in there. So I like to explain the cards because some people are trying to learn. And if you don't enjoy the reading, at least you could say you learned something from my from my channel so I try to give you a, a, a little dose of this and a little dose of that now let's take a look at how you see the person you're dealing with you see them like the ace of swords and the fool card now the ace of swords it's showing new beginnings possibly on several fronts sometimes this new beginning it started by a separation, could be from a relationship, from a job situation, a neighborhood, some type of separation. Then you get this new, great new beginning on several levels. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. The ace it calls on you not to be afraid to take a leap. 
if it's in your best interest. So let's look at the Fool card. Now the Fool card, it's about newness in one form or another. You can be ready to take on a new beginning. It indicates the purity and open-hearted energy, the innocence of a child. We know children are tr trusting and trust. It forms the basis of meaning for this card. It's a positive card in the tarot. Don't get it twisted. It's a positive one. But it's important to, to um, take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself. Just take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, guess what? It could be a big mistake. And that, that looks like what he's doing in the picture. The Fool card is the card below the word you see them. So you you see a person is ready to take a leap, to jump right on in. Uh, they could want a new beginning with you, but they know that there's things they need to cut out. Yeah, because these two, both of these cards are about new beginnings. And so I'm picking up, since we got new beginnings in here really strong, your person really, really wants a new beginning. Yeah. They want to take a leap of faith and just jump right on in. Now this could be with you, but they know they got to separate from something. They got to cut something out. But we'll get more clarity on these two cards when we take a look at the rest of the reading. So why it's happening, we got this Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is basically about comfort. You see how she's sitting in her chair? And she has she has this dog at her feet. He looks like he's sitting on her feet, keeping her toes warm. And the squirrel came by to say hello. Probably her best friend. <laughs> and it looks like she's just counting her money. When you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, it's about coins, cash, finance, income. She's just... You know, glad that she's got a safety net that she can cuddle on to. And she's got a peace of mind. Yeah, so it could also be about spending money, energy, and time getting your home to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. Because uh, people could be looking to you for insight and or advice. And you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. Yep. I like the Queen of Pentacles. It's a very sensible card in the tarot. This could be a housewife. It could be someone who's really caring, very down to earth, and just wants comfort. No drama, please. Please don't bring the Queen of Pentacles drama. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why it's happening, and it's with the Five of Swords. Now you see this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand, and he's got three at his feet and he'll pick them up and use all of them if he feels he have if, if he feels that's what he needs to do now with the five of swords you could have some mixed feelings about some people maybe life in general now you have to make sure you don't ignore these but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either because you could ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. You gotta pick your battles at this time. So this Five of Swords is the other reason why it's happening. There's some conflict here and somebody's really pissed. Somebody's really mad, mad at you coming up in July or you, them. It looks like there could be a fight. Mm -hmm. So let's recap the reading and see if we can get the complete picture. Because I know it's all scattered, right? So Leo, like I said, uh, your person, they, I'm picking up, they do not like this devil energy that you bring to the connection. Whether it's you, people you know addictions, some type of energy that's really annoying. 
for your person. So they find that it's immature and it's not needed in this connection. That's why the Page of Swords is here. And you see them wanting you to cut it out. They want you to cut this negative energy, this troll energy, these addictions. They want you to cut it out. Because your person, it looks like he's about ready to, or she's about ready to take a leap towards a new beginning. Now this could be somewhere else. Because this person looks like he's about to just take a, take a big old leap into the ocean. What's below him, all this blue water you see, or you cannot, maybe you cannot see it. But it looks like a huge ocean. They look like they're just about to just, woo, they, they, it looks like they've had enough of this troll energy that you bring to the connection. And they're just taking a leap on something new. It could be a new beginning with a new life, a new person. Um, but they're ready for you to cut it out. That's why that big old sword is there. If you don't cut it out, whatever it is that's annoying, they're ready for a new beginning. Okay? Because it looks like... Um, hmm. I'm picking up that... Wow. Your person, they, they might have another option <laughs> with the two of wands here. Yeah, and if it's not another person, they just got another option. Maybe to go stay with their family or friends. Two of Wands is about a choice to make. Should I take this wand or take that wand? Should I go down this path or go down that path? Yeah, because um, with the Moon card here, they feel like Something is hidden. Something is hidden, yeah. Now, on the other hand, it looks like you just want comfort, but you, you're you mad at the way your person is, is dealing with this connection. You, you're really upset with the five of, wards, five of Swords showing up here. Now, I could say that your person is upset. They could be upset and mad about the way this connection is going but I'm picking up right now is that you just want peace and comfort you don't want any you don't want any more drama it looks like your person could be ready to fight because they think things are hidden from them when they're trying to get you to stop doing whatever devilish things that they think you're doing so, they run around mad a lot of times. Yeah, they might threaten that they have another path to choose. They might just throw that into the fight sometime. Just to get you to do what it is you're supposed to do. So that the connection can be better. And maybe start a new beginning with you. But, um, your person thinks that you keep things hidden from them with the moon card here and yeah they're upset they're ready to fight and take a leap of faith on something because um, 